Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios. And today we're gonna be doing a studio slash collection tour, which is kind of crazy. Um, and I'm doing this because everything is super organized right now and never is. But I had to organize for my TV interview. So if you guys wanna check that out, it will be there. Okay, so let's go inside. I have this map because my shoes are always dirty before I walk in. This is my shipping area. So I have a bunch of bubble thingies, packing peanuts, um, tissue paper, bubble wrap, bubble mailers, and other miscellaneous stuff. And then I have tape, packing tape, and then like my stickers that I put on everything. My return address, fragile stickers, because stuff is fragile. And then I have scissors, business cards, and then I have the bo some boxes that I have um, pre-packaged because people are ordering multiple horses and I'm not done with all of them yet. And then I have some stickers and other extras that I'll include. And then I have drawers with like a bunch of stickers, blankets, like literally anything and everything. Cards for people that order dress blankets. Um, I don't even know what's in here. Um, yeah, I don't even know what's in here either. And then this is like a bunch of random stuff, boxes and containers and things. And then of course I have my barn, and if you guys want more of this, this is in my barn tour, but this is just like a big overview, I guess, of all of my barn stuff. And then this is a bunch of materials and my tack making area. So this is where I keep all of my materials. These are like not even updated labels, so everything's basically wrongly labeled um, or incorrectly labeled. So, but I have like a bunch of hot glue guns and stuff in this drawer. Then I have a bunch of leather, leather lace, Chinese knotting cord, which I use for blankets. I get a lot of questions about that. And then I have a bunch of fun, really awesome ribbon that I got at Michael's. Um, more leather stuff and like random hair cord stuff. And then a bunch of string. Oh my God, this cord's in the way. A bunch of string. I don't even know what's in here. I have some random like silicone mold things. Um, yeah. And then more miscellaneous stuff. I have some tiny stamps. I'm oh, not stamps, uh, cut out things. And then I use these for lead ropes. And then I have random charms that I never use. Oh, and then I have a bunch of sculpting clay because I used to do a bunch of sculpting. Then I have a bunch of random like stuff. So I have a bunch of riders in here. Tack, really tiny accessories. Um, I guess bigger like buildings, poles, other stuff. And then I have a bunch of like pets and everything like and well, also like random animals. And then I have a bunch of fools in here because I don't have room for them. I have a bunch of jumps and then I have a bunch of mini winnies that I don't really use. And then under here is the disaster. So this is a bunch of like stuff that I need to sell, um, like random barns that I don't use and I don't have space for because most of my barns are handmade and I like those better. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna be selling that stuff pretty soon. And then in this drawer, I have a bunch of like horses that are in perfect condition that I'm selling on my website that are retired, a bunch of fabrics, and then more bodies in here. And then I have more perfect condition horses that I am selling with tags and everything. Then I have a bunch of fabric here, collective horses that I recently just got, I'm gonna be using for customs, more fabric. And then in the back there, there's like more fabric and ribbons and random things, yeah. Uh, and then up here, I have some like extra painting materials as well as some horse bodies that I need to bring inside. And this is just like more random stuff. More fabric, more ribbons, more stuff. And then this is like my ribbon holder that my mom made for me. These are customs that I just went outside and photographed that will be either for sale or going to their new homes. And then I have this arena, which is where I take some sales pictures. Right now, this is like my tack area. This is where I make all my tack. I'm working on some racing tack for these thoroughbred horses right here um, that I'm doing as a commission. And I have a bunch of glues, um, scissors, random tools. Um, and this thing actually like spins and stuff. Um, so I have like hole punchers, little paint brushes, extra paint brushes that I don't have in my room. And then I have a bunch of buckles, um, rear Ronda buckles. Oh, I also have a bunch of rear Ronda buckles in there. I don't know why I didn't see that. And then I have all of these horses. So some of these are customs and they're going to their homes. I have some super old Schleich sets here. Then I have some tack. Um, I made this bareback set. This is a, another Western set that I got um, that I have an unboxing video for. And then I have a random barn here for some reason. Some random horses that I'm selling. 
These are like some horses that I'm trying to sell up there with blankets, like with bundles. And then these are some of the collection horses that I have, as well as other like horses that I'm trying to sell. And then more collection horses. These are some Arabians that are just like kicking. I don't know, they're all like art together. Then I have some fantasy horses over here. More random tax supplies, miscellaneous stuff, little slime fruit charms that I use for accessories. And then more little tiny horses. I don't know why I have so many of those. And then I have my pony shelf. So I have a bunch of ponies. These are all like my favorite thing in the world. I have this binder with a bunch of like reference pictures and tax stuff. And that I think is it for everything in this shed. Now we're gonna head to my room, which is where I have all my painting stuff. And then I also have the shelf in my room with a bunch of blanketed horses. So this is where I have some draft horses. So I try and keep this for like congas or double horses that I have. So I have a mini Shire Mare conga. And by the way, a conga is just like, kind of like a conga line. It's just multiple models of the same mold. So I have my Nami Paimo horse here and then some other drafts and then some tinker mares here and just like those two sport horses and that's pretty much all of them on that shelf and then i have my frisians on this shelf i have a bunch of frisian mares i'm really obsessed with them i also have a chestnut one but she's not on this shelf right now and then i have some frisian stallions i also have a palomino one uh, on the shelf and then some other guys there and then on this one just like random ones i guess and then on the bottom one, I have my mini fewer conga, um, which was a little bit bigger not too long ago, but I ended up selling one of them as a commission. And then I'm going, so I'm gonna be remaking that one as um, one with the heart main, cause I had made one. And I also have another one, but it's not here right now. <laughs> and then my mini conga, here it's really not a conga, it's just two horses. And then another mini conga, which is just two horses here. So yeah, that is this little shelf and I really love it. I got it at Home Goods, and it is like my favorite thing ever. So this is my workspace area. So we have a bunch of stuff um, featuring my lovely orange soda. So I always have like some drying horses here that I'm like going to do base coats on. And then I will end up airbrushing them once I have their base coats and then I'll do like detailing and stuff. And then back there are my <laughs> work in progress horses that need sculpting or ones that like I just haven't finished yet. Like those are personal horses that I'm gonna do when I'm done with my commissions. These are all of my one ounce paints. Um, I have containers that I got online on Amazon since you can get like the two ounce ones. These are like mainly for salad dressing, but um, I use these for paints because since they're this small, they don't dry out and I use these for like um, base coat colors. So I have a bunch of those. And then I have all my sculpting stuff. So epoxy um, and then back there I have a bunch of sculpting tools, but then I have like these micro application brushes or um, things that I use sometimes when I make mistakes, I'll just use that. Or I used to use those for dapples. Um, I still do sometimes. Then I have some like sanding stuff and I also have some super glue for tails and stuff like that. Then I have my lovely iPad, which is the lifesaver. I use that for all my references. And then I have all my airbrush paints. Um, this bubble of this theme, above I got at Target. And then I have apple barrel paints, which I really don't use except for like eyes and some other stuff, like sometimes detailing and stuff. Then I have my airbrush pump and I have my two airbrushes there. And then I have like these things on the shelves here. Oh my gosh, we have a visitor. <laughs> Hi little guy, <laughs> forgot he was there. And then my bed. And then this is where I do my spray painting and stuff. So we'll obviously go outside, but have bodies in here, more bodies there. These are like the ones that are gonna need like special help. Like they, they need re-sculpting and stuff. And then I have a bunch of primers, spray paints and everything. And then over here is where they will all dry. And then I have some finished ones here that I need to take outside to take pictures of. 
And then I have some other ones. These are going to be personal horses, so I just thought I'd let them dry up here so I don't confuse myself. And then these are ones that um, I am waiting to give to someone. Also, um, I got all these super snazzy drawers at Target. Um, they don't really have them there anymore. They're like in that little $1 section. But they are literally a lifesaver because before this, I had so many paintbrushes and stuff like on my table and it was annoying. So this farthest one, I have it like from left to right, like all the steps that I have. So I have a bunch of prepping tools in here, mainly like sanding sticks. And I also have some like knives and um, I think I also have like some sculpting tools and like picks and stuff to get rid of panels. And then I have flat brushes, which I use for base coating. And then in this one, I have herring stuff. So color pencils, um, some of these brushes, I don't even know what they're called, but they're awesome. Fan brushes, some smaller kind of like detail brushes in that one. And then in this one, I just have paint um, for like mane and tail. Um, or other ones that I use. I also use this one for um, chestnuts. And then in this one, I have a bunch more detailing brushes. These are like the main detailing brushes that I use. And then in this is my kind of like final piece ones. For some reason, I have another hoof color that's not in here right now. Um, but these are Vallejo paints. I really like these for hoof colors because um, they're really like flat and opaque. And then I use some of these sometimes for eyes and these are just like little enamel paints. And then I also have some silver paint back there for horseshoes and some pink for kind of like the facial pink on the nose and stuff. And then over here I have some fancy brushes that I have not used yet as well as toothpicks and Q-tips in case I make mistakes. Oh my God, that noise. And then I have pastels, um, which I use for like finishing and dirtying up kind of like the white hairs and things like that. Then I also have pink pastel for more pinking um, on the face. And yeah, that is pretty much it. I also have one down here I forgot about, which has the scissors. Um, this I use for color pencil. Uh, and then I just have this wire brush to get rid of any plastic pieces when I'm prepping and nice acto knife and this little pick for pinholes as well. All right, roses, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please check out my website, subscribe to my channel, be the sweet, generous person that you are and like this video. And don't forget to stay sweet. Mwah. Thank you.